Hello and welcome back to another video on Terra. Now in today's video we're talking about the upcoming summer event that should be coming to the consoles some point soon. It could be at the end of June and it will definitely be in July if it's actually going to arrive. But how can you prepare for it? Because this is one of the only ways you can get the swimsuit costumes without actually purchasing it from the actual store for real life money. So the summer fun event, I can't actually show you any footage because it's not currently active on the PC version, nor do I have any footage stored from the previous version, but it's fairly simple to understand. So there are two types of events we could get. The last time I actually did the event was when both of them were rolled together, and that's Blood on the Beach, where you go to the little beach, you have some mini games, and you get some little tokens which you can then exchange for a little box that has a chance to give you a costume box or an accessory if you don't. And then we have the Festival of the Sun, which I believe is over in uh, this area here, which has some little mini things, such as you have to like go and kill some areas, got to go clean up some things and do some other stuff like that. It's boring stuff, it's not hard, it's just a bit repetitive after a while, but you still, you get some more little tokens that you can use to purchase little boxes that have a chance to give you a swimsuit. So what can you do to actually prepare for the event. Well the blood on the beach or whatever they're actually going to name up for the console version requires at least a level 30 character in order to participate in the actual quest to get the rewards. However the festival of the sun requires I believe a level 50 character in order to start the quest. Now that sounds all good if you've just been concentrating on one character which you already have max level, but you have to remember these events can be done on multiple characters. The last time I did this event I did it on I think 5 or 6 characters each day in order to get through, so you have to make sure if you are going to do it you need to have multiple characters leveled up. But if you've been playing the console version for a while now you should have at least 3 free character slots if you've been keeping up with events and stuff, and with the gunner coming very soon you should have a fourth character slot for you to enjoy and even do this event when it finally arrives. So what type of things can you expect from the actual box that you use the currency to buy which has a chance of giving you these uh, lovely costume boxes. As you can see down here, this is what I got from last time. It's not that many boxes considering how many times I actually ran through the events each day, but still you're at least guaranteed one. It might not be the one you want, but at least it's still one for you to open up on a certain character. You can see that I've got a striped bikini, I've got a leisure shorts box, fun box, whatever. But if you don't get a costume box, you'll end up getting some accessories, and oh boy, do I have a lot of accessories. So you get like things like sunglasses, hats, little back accessories and all that. It's generally a bunch of crap, you can sell it on the broker if you want for a little bit of money. Some of this stuff, like as you can see there, that hat is worth 700 gold if you hold on to it for a nice long time. Some of this stuff can be worth a fair amount, as you can see there, some of this stuff is going for like, what, 6,000? They've got 2,000, that's quite a lot of gold, all things considered. So if you do end up getting a lot of accessories, don't fret, you can just hold on to it and sell it later on in the year. So the actual drop rate for the costumes does seem to be about a 20 to 30% chance of actually getting stuff. Majority of the time you will get this crap, but like I said, you can just keep hold of it and sell it later on in the year for a nice bit of money. And as for leveling characters, there should be enough time. It's not exactly hard to level up a character. You only need to get to 50. You don't need to get to max level. So obtaining that isn't going to be too breaking if you want to quickly spam level up a few characters. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Yes, not much has happened in there. And I can't really do much until the event has been released. But I thought it would be a nice little heads up video for you to start leveling characters in case we get the Festival of the Sun instead of the actual Bloods on the Beach thing, which is super easy to do. So thank you all for watching, I'll be back with another video some point soon, bye bye.